On the afternoon of February 10th, 1994, at her home in Buda, Texas, Denise Mitzel discovered that no emergency is too small to be deadly. I came home from work early and wasn't feeling well. Jesus was there to greet me, as he always does every day. Oh, hey. How you doing? Huh? Jesus was a blessing. I had just gone through a divorce, and uh, there was quite a few changes for the girls. So I was excited about getting the dog. I like to play with them a lot, and he sleeps with me and my sister in our bed. They take a lot of responsibility with them, and I think it's because they do love them. Good boy. Watch out. He's, he's great. He doesn't know he's a chihuahua. He has the personality of uh, more like a kitten. I didn't play with him very much. I kind of wanted to go get some medicine and just lay down. Chisos. He always stays by my side Chisos. until I sit and pet him and calm him down. Chisos. And after I realized he wasn't there and I called his name and he still didn't come, I knew something was wrong. Chisos? Chisos? His eyes were rolled back. There was no movement in his chest. There was, there was no life, none. I could not let that dog die. Jesus. Kids, can I share from it? Yes, I was wondering if someone could tell me how to give CPR to my dog. I can't get a hold of it. My dog stopped breathing. Okay, just a moment, ma'am. Hey, Jesus. The call was passed to Hayes County Sheriff's Dispatcher Debbie Noble, an EMT trainee. She had not been able to get a hold of a vet, and so we began doing everything we could. I just okay. took it to be just like I would if it were her calling in on a three-month-old infant. What makes you believe that he's not breathing? He's laying like he's dead here. His, his chest isn't going up and down. He's not doing anything. Okay. His are roll back. Have you attempted to shake it or anything? Yes. Like, like the high leg. I don't know why he's not. So what's going on? Okay. You, you want to do CPR? I don't know what to do. Okay. okay. Leanne Bounds was the supervisor on duty. We wanted to give her something to do so she would feel like she had done everything that she could, no matter what happened. We can't send an ambulance and we can't send a vet. If you start CPR, there's not much else we can do. It was crossing my mind the entire time that the dog was already dead and we weren't going to be able to save it. But I felt very sorry for her and wanted to, you know, to help her with what I could. Is there someone else that can drive while you're doing this? No. There wasn't anybody else. All my neighbors are at work. My children are at school. I had no option. Everything was dependent on me to do this. I can tell you how to do CPR, but you're going to have to eventually stop because there's nothing that you can do. How do you do it? Okay, what you're going to have to do is open the dog's mouth a little bit, be sure that the tongue's forward, uh -huh. tilt his head back a little bit, and put your mouth over the nose and the mouth. Okay. And blow like you're blowing into an infant. Quick breath. Five of them. Breathe and stop. Is your chest rising? Yeah. Okay. Jesus. He wasn't starting to breathe. So I started to doubt myself. Maybe I wasn't doing it completely right. Is it doing any good? Uh -huh. Okay. four to five seconds after that fifth one uh, and push on its chest like you're doing the, can you tell where the heart is? We're back He's got something in his mouth. Okay, that's what it is, okay. Uh -huh. Then you can't shake it upside down and, and, and black blow on its, I mean, hit it where its lungs are. Uh, it's a marble. A marble? Oh, God. Did it come out? Yes. Is he breathing? Yes. Okay, <laughs> we got to save. It was really exciting to know that we'd had a save. It didn't matter at all that it was a dog. It was a life. Okie doke. Well, congratulations. That doesn't happen very often. Thanks. Uh-huh. Bye. Hey. Hey. He laid there for a what little bit, uh, not quite sure what had happened to him. But uh, it didn't take him too long, five or six minutes to get up and, and uh, start walking around the house. But he still wasn't himself probably for the rest of the day. I didn't let him out of my sight, though. I kept following him around the house.
Two-year-old Chisos suffered no ill effects from his choking incident, and Denise's daughter Ashley couldn't be happier. I think she was a, a good mom to save my dog's life because she loves my dog too, and I love my dog too, and so does my sister. He messes with the yarn and stuff and takes the candy away and messes up our room. Here we go. Wait a minute, I'm going to throw it. You need to secure their little world and make it just as safe as you would you an infant's. No, My children will tell you one of the biggest things that mommy fusses about is having little things on the floor that the puppy can get. Hi, and this is the little guy. Everybody in that dispatch yeah. office was on the ball, was concerned, and I appreciate that they I took the time out better. for a chihuahua. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Here's to us. Okay. Here's to us. And Jesus. <laughs>